Hey folks, join us as Josh and I head out in search of some safe ice. Stay with us. Pocono Outdoors Guy is supported by Deeper Smart Sonar, by Fishing Effects, Fish with the Best Fishing Effects, and by Nico, Next Generation Soft Baits. So here we are again. Thanks everyone for watching. It looks like it's going to snow every time Josh and I go out to fish anymore. You're not kidding. So two weeks ago, Josh and I were out in some open water going for those trout and salmon. Well, today it's been a lot colder. The past couple days have been colder. We're going to go out and see if we can find some ice. If we do, what do you think? Pickerel, bass? What do you think? Probably on the agenda, maybe some perch, something like that. So we're going to see what we can find. Why don't you come along? Well, the first lake we tried was only about two inches, way too thin for our liking. So we decided to move on. Okay, let's take a walk out and see how much ice there is. Lake number two turned out to be unsafe as well, with only about another two Stand inches of ice. Together. So we That's move on good. to number three. Well, that sign is absolutely not lying because the last two lakes we've hit, thin ice is right. It just hasn't been fishable. So here we are on number three. See if we can make it happen. Got the bar. Let's go pound away. This is really frustrating. It's supposed to be winter, and this is the third lake we've checked now, and. It's an improvement, I suppose, but it's still a far stretch from safe ice, so I guess it's back on the road. Well, I think we finally found some safe ice. This is the fourth place we've checked now. It's not really where we wanted to end up, but safe ice is what's important, and this is where it is, so let's get to it. Well, hey guys, we finally got this place here we wanted to fish. I mean, after uh, three other places, this little lake has got enough ice. Uh, it's pretty safe. Well, one of the things we're trying to do now is try to find out where to drill our hole. This place is huge. So we looked on the map, we found some spots right off a of point, but here's a little deeper hack for you guys that love the deeper. Before we even drill a hole, now we have good clear black ice here, that's the key. We can put our deeper on top just with a little bit of water and that'll actually activate the, uh, the prongs in the bottom and start the unit. And from there, we can actually see where we're at, what kind of depth we are before we even drill our first hole. That saves a lot of work and you can tell where you're fishing right off the bat. We finally had a flag go up, believe it or not. We weren't hoping for too much action today, but we got one. Let's take a look and see if there's anything here. Oh, that is off to the side. <laughs> Not there. No, looks like he's spinning out. Any teeth marks in that bait? No, actually it looks pretty good. Interesting. Maybe a hit and spit by a bass yeah. or something. Yeah, we're still off to the side though. Try it again. Well, we got another flag to get to. Let's go check that one out. So we had the two flags go almost identical. That one didn't actually have a fish on it when we got there, but I think this one's still turning, so we're going to give it a shot. Oh yeah, he's still running. Fish on, George? No. No. What is going on? Get some line Took out. some line out though, that's for sure. 
No bait either. Looks like he had a hold of it and uh, just he got it. All right, well, at least we found some, some fish, maybe. Let's uh, get those reset and yep. actually hook the next ones. Get some more bait on here and see what happens. Get them reset and try again. That's right. Okay, we got another one. Looks like he's, he's running right now, so I'm going to very slowly try to. Oops. Oh, yeah. On there. Little one. Little guy. Yeah, nothing too big. What you got? Whoa! Whoa! George! Look at the George! Size of that. George! That is huge! <laughs> That's a perch. Look at this. That is a trophy fish. <laughs> Grab that thing by the lip. Hold on, I, I want to get the hook out. Or at least get That is a trophy, George. Come on. Well, that's why our bait was getting stolen, that's for sure. Wasn't I saying it kind of looked like there was perch bites on the baits? He did. Well, he's not even opening his mouth up. But look at this guy. That's a big fish. We're going to measure that. That's really We'll have to show in Glasgow that one. I think that rivals <laughs> the ones in the UK, huh? That is sweet, George. And that's why they kept stealing our bait. I mean, he kept uh, ripping this thing right off the hook. That's probably 11 inches. Uh, at least, yeah. That's sweet. That's awesome. So he finally got that sucker on hook and got it measured. Actually, 12 inch little perch. That's kind of a nice little guy. So we're going to let him go. Uh, he's still pretty feisty. So we'll see if we can let him go. There he goes. Woo! Boy, that was fun. We need another one of them. Let's get him <laughs> reset and back to it. All right, we got to run here. Fish on. It feels really small, like extra small. It's a perch! It's a perch! Not quite like the jumbo that George just caught, but. Look at the color, they're awful dark. Yeah, they're really dark. I've noticed that a lot of fish out of this lake are dark. That is, you know, decent little perch, but it, what it does tell us is that there's a lot of perch in this hole. So I think that's maybe where we should uh, come fish. Put it back in. All right, let's move operation over here because all of our gear is way over there. All the fish are way over here. <laughs> It's nice and it's oh it's a largemouth bass. Well that's interesting. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that's absolutely not the fish that I expected it to be. <laughs> that's actually my first largemouth from this lake. Really cool colors on it. Like, look how dark it is. Uh, how about that, George? That is a really sweet looking bass through the ice. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Well, the perch or a pickerel. We'll take it though. We will absolutely take that. Very nice. Beautiful shot. Let's put him back in. Yeah, probably 15 inches. Nice surprise oh. anyway. <laughs> he was ready to go. <laughs> Ooh, let's get that line back in. It hasn't been down long at all. Alright, we just had to take on my dead stick rod here. I'm gonna hit him. There we go. Fish on. 
took a lot of line out. It was pretty heavy. It was decent. Eh, we'll see. Coming in a bit lighter now. I still think it's decent. He's a lot of line out, so it's hard to know. It's definitely not small. What is it? Oh, it's a big pickerel. It's like a really big pickerel. Don't cut me off. Oh, that's the biggest one I've seen from here. Barely fits up the hole. Oh, that's, a, that's a pretty solid fish. But that is a nice one, yeah. <laughs> that's probably what's been stealing all our baits around here. <laughs> that's probably what's been giving us the problem, is right. <laughs> that's a solid fish, huh? Yeah, it's that probably weighs three pounds. Yeah, it's cool to catch them on the jigging rod. Or the dead stick rod, I should say. <laughs> Hooked just ever so gently on the outside of the mouth, which is good because I was using four pound test. He's unhooked. That's pretty sweet. All right, no point keeping out any longer than necessary. That's probably, uh, oh, 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 oh. do you think that's 20 inches, George? Oh, at least, yeah. Yeah, so that's gonna be a Pennsylvania Angler Award fish. That's pretty cool. Let's put it back in. Oh, it's still ready to go. It knows where home is. Whoops. <laughs> there was no stopping that from going back. <laughs> ah, cool. Good work, Josh. Okay, another flag. Josh just got that giant pickle out of here. Maybe we'll get lucky and get the same thing. Oh, he's taking a little bit of line here. He's taking some line. Well, thing is right now. Fish on, George? Yeah, we got. Something small? Something small. One? Yeah, something small. What do you got? Yeah. Ah, there you go. A small one. That's nothing like yours, but we'll take it. <laughs> what happened? So they, they stock this with trout now. Do those trout all die over the... the I need the... Uh, Forceps? Gotcha. All right, well, it's not a real big picker, but we'll take it. Anything's better when you're uh, having the kind of luck we've been having today. So we're gonna let him go and get him back on in. Whoop. Awesome. There he goes. To the side, and I think he got up to the top and popped it right off. Nothing there? After a few more lost fish, we decide to pack up the gear and call it a day. Hey guys, you know any day out in the ice is a great day, especially out chasing flags, and it's even a bonus when you get a few more fish. I want to thank you all for watching, and join us again on the next Pocono Outdoors Guy. We'll see you soon.